Hi guys and welcome back to another Canva video. This is actually a request from one of our watchers to show them how to make a reading tracker to keep track of all the books they are reading. They want it in Instagram size so this is the Instagram square that I am going to be using. I'm just going to add a heading here stating exactly what it is that this is a reading tracker. Now a reading tracker is a pretty simple thing on social media. It's pretty much just an image of empty book covers that you add your book covers to. So I'm going into the elements and I'm looking up for the month of September to get a little September with a theme. It'll make it really easy for me to change the theme every month but you of course can make a reading tracker that's generic and change the month as you go. I'm going to add a background from as you can see the little September left me a a color palette to use so I'm going to use that color palette and lighten the background color and it's really just about picking the fonts you like the little images you like to personalize your reading tracker these are all pretty much however your taste is whatever you like whatever font you like I'm just trying to find one that's a bit more suited to the September and I like that one okay to make the actual reading tracker where you put your book covers you need a rectangle shape now canva recently changed the shapes and took away the generic square which was resizable in all directions and now they have only these squares that just get bigger or smaller and can't be like shaped into rectangles so it took me a little while to go through the shapes and find something that i could resize that was the shape of a book cover I ended up typing in rectangle and although there are plenty rectangles here none of them seem to fit so I went for a rectangle frame. I decided to upload a book cover to give me more of an idea of the shape. This is not necessary you're pretty much just creating little holding places for book covers. It doesn't really matter if you get the size exact because your book covers will cover them as the month goes on. So I put my book cover here to get more of a size of the shape that I want and I went back into elements and this is when I look up rectangle frames rather than just rectangles. And I just picked one that was sort of close to what I was looking for, turned it on its side and made it just a little bit smaller than the book cover itself. So when the book covers are placed on this, they are going to cover these little frames so it doesn't need to be exact. So this one was quite thin and flimsy so I clicked on it and I made the lines much thicker using the tools up here as you can see and I changed the colour to, to match the palette theme that I have going on for this little reading tracker. So I'm going to copy that by right clicking, copy and then right click again and paste and I'm going to position them side by side. I'm just going to move my September make a little bit smaller because it was very big. And I'm going to add my reading tracker the word for just so I know that this is for September. And then I'm going to continue copying and pasting until I fit as many of these little rectangles as I can onto my page. So once I have a complete row of them, Canva helps guide them and space them evenly. I can copy the entire row which as you can see is stuck together. I can copy and paste the entire row and then position a new row underneath. Now I do this three times and this is when I realize I haven't got enough room. So what I do is once I line them up, I um, cover the whole thing and resize it. So it's highlighting the whole of the three rows and resize it smaller. So then this could be it for you. I decided I wanted to personalize it further and add my name which I seemingly cannot spell even though it's been my name for many, many years. And I'm going to move that to the top of my list. Now you could make one of these every single month in a completely different theme for your social media or you could just make one generic one where you just retype the month in the corner every month. I'm changing my font colour to make my name stand out using the palette from the September image just positioning everything as I like it and that is pretty much it. Now to add your book covers every time you read one you would just upload your book cover onto Canva like here. Canva was not playing ball with me today it decided to cover the whole thing. 
So I decided to delete that and try again. I was just not having a good day. You resize your book covers and put them over the top of your placeholders. And voila, you can do this every time you read a book. And then you can post it every month on your social media. Now, if you find that when adding your book covers, it keeps interfering with the elements, what you can do is download your entire image that you created without any of the books and that will help massively. I'm just adding a different background here as you can see just to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to make it a bit more transparent so that it isn't as dominating as it was and it just makes it look a little more professional. I'm going to remove the book cover and I'm going to download this as a complete image. Just going to download it as a PNG. And then I'm going to re-upload it and paste it onto a new page so that whenever I am uploading my books to this reading tracker, nothing is going to move at all. It's all joined together, it's grouped. You cannot alter this image at all. So when resizing the books, you can see I can move this book all over this little graphic and it's not going to interfere with it because it is now um, a completely grouped image. So that is how to make a reading tracker. Pretty simple, pretty basic. If you need to make this screen a little slower, then just let me know in the comments below and I will happily oblige.